Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I feel like this is still a little bit dark. Steve. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This is slightly better. Oh, I forgot to clap. So in the clip that you were about to just watch, I was already quite stressed out and nervous. I was stressed out because I had a lot of work for my job that needed to get done that day. And I was nervous because I want to tell you guys about this project that I'm working on and it's quite close to my heart. I had spent most of the week wrestling with my sermon and trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to bring across to, to the congregation. And that was part of the problem. I was wrestling with whether or not I was going to preach on what I wanted to preach on versus what God wanted to say to the congregation. And so I found myself kind of in between the in-betweens by Friday morning. And roughly half an hour just before I started shooting that video, I realized exactly what I wanted to preach on and what, what my congregation needed to hear. So that was all good. But I still had a lot of work in terms of prepping the order of service and the presentations and stuff like that. Typically stuff that in the future I hope to get done by Wednesday morning. So after I had shot that video, I decided to hop into my car and drive down to one of my local coffee shops. And it's one of my favorite places to be in because it's super quiet and there's very seldom a lot of people there. And so I went down, pulled up my laptop, ordered myself a hazelnut cappuccino and I sat down and I got to work. Finished the presentations, finished a lot of what I needed to do that day. And come Sunday morning, I was definitely ready. I was nervous, but heavenly nerves more so than my own. And that brings us to, to today. The weekend has come and gone and here we are. I wanna tell you guys about this project that I'm working on this month that I hope to finish before the month ends. This project is called Rats. Rats is an EP concept album that I'm working on, which is all about my struggle with my depression and how I've worked through that and how I'm continuing to work through it. Basically, the, the concept behind it is if my head is a house, then my mental illness is the rats that live in the house, that share the space with me, the rats that chew on the cables, chew through the pipes, and just cause the house to not function as it should. Um, when I first realized that I had depression, I was terrified of it because it kind of runs in my family. And I thought it was almost like a little death sentence in the sense that, you know, I would be, I would be stuck with it forever and it would be this looming cloud that I had to walk around with forever and people would be able to see it and it would just be an issue all the time. And I can say, having worked on it for the last four years, it's not that bad. That's a strange way to put it. It's not as severe and it's not as life-threatening for me anymore as what it was when I first figured it out. Um, I have been going to therapy for a long time and spent a lot of time in a psychologist's office chatting and just working through it and learning skills to help me cope and help me survive and learn how to live. But basically the project is, is that journey. It captures part of that using this extended metaphor of rats. And the project starts in this very low fidelity sound where it's kind of grungy and crappy and in your face. I described it to a friend of mine as the kind of quality that you would get from, from stabbing a, an amp. If you stab an amp's cone, it doesn't give you that high quality sound that sounds super crisp and clean, but it actually distorts naturally. And that's how distortion was invented originally. And it's that, that texture, that color, that tonality, that's what it starts out with. And then as it progresses, it becomes more high fidelity and all the sounds start to clear up a little bit. They're still distorted, they're still heavy, but they're clearer and they make a little bit more sense on their own. Um, and the 
the whole project kind of journeys through the initial song, which is going to be called Rats, um, which tells the story of effectively me becoming aware of the rats that I'm dealing with and me becoming fully aware that it's time that I face them, that it's time that I talk about them, that it's time that I put it out there, that this is a real problem. Um, and it's kind of me grabbing grabbing the situation by the horns and saying, like, I'm not going to let this define who I am or where I've been um, or where I'm going, rather. It's just going to be part of my journey rather than my whole journey. And as the project concludes, it concludes with me having a good day, a day where the clouds clear and I actually wake up and suddenly instead of hearing rats and noises and scurrying and screeching, I hear nothing. It's quiet. And all of a sudden, on one of those good days, I realize, well, actually, even on the good days when when the depression's gone, there is an element of of melancholy to that situation because there's infinite opportunity, but in the vastness of opportunity in the clear and in the opening space, there's a lot of loneliness there left still. And that's kind of an expression or a feeling that I've seen a lot of people that I've spoken to that also have mental illnesses, they say that they've dealt with as well, is this experience of once you've dealt with the mental illness, you kind of lose a sense of yourself. You lose this morbid companion. Um, And you kind of, yeah, in the losing of that morbid companion, you kind of find yourself sitting in a space where you don't know what to do with yourself. Suddenly, you know, the, the daily objective of surviving isn't there anymore. So what do you do now? Where do you go next? It's this bright, blinding light of possibilities but you don't know how to handle it and so that's kind of where the whole project goes it goes from this place of initially deciding cool I'm gonna face this and it goes into the deeper more darker experience of it and what it feels like and the the colors that are involved and then it gets to this place of just blinding light blinding clearness and it's the melancholy and the loneliness and all of that that comes with it and the possibilities and it's just this beautifully clear jumbled mess of emotions and realizations um but yeah i'm very excited about this project and putting it out there because i think a lot of people are going through a very similar experience and i think the most important part about any kind of awareness project is to put more words to the feelings, to articulate all of the emotions better, to say to people, actually, you can feel this way. Maybe this is how you can describe it. Maybe this is how you can describe it. Many, many creative people have put words to this experience and it's helped me get to where I am now. And I'd like to do the same. So without further ado, here's a little snapshot of what rats is going to sound like. Dog is down all day, begging us to stay home and play. 